Hey guys, John here again from the YouTube Info Hut uh, channel. Now today's tutorial is on how to replace uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 front glass. Okay, you're going to probably see um, your Samsung Galaxy has similar crack to this, like this one at the bottom. I think you can see it. And there's a small one at the top. Now the Samsung S3 is, um, you know, obviously a uh, a phone that generally is fairly hard to replace the front glass uh, a lot of tutorials online are showing the to replace the whole assembly this is just the front glass and this is the best method that I've found I've tried all the different methods on YouTube all over the net to me this is the best most realistic method that you won't break it so the first thing you need is the, the correct tools um, you can use household items instead of what I'm showing you but there's one tool that you actually need and that's this iSesimo, and I'm going to put a link in the description below on where to get it on Amazon. An iSesimo separating tool. It's a very thin piece of metal, and what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way down through there and, and slowly separate it. Now, the second thing is uh, the actual uh, X-Acto knife, or, or maybe a, a sharp knife or a blade of some sort. Okay, and pretty much the third thing, and that's not important, is just... Uh, um, pair of tweezers but I mean you know once again not important okay and the most important thing and I'm just gonna disconnect my camera and show you guys is a heater sorry not a heater a heat fan or a hairdryer and I've got one hanging above me I've made a little apparatus uh, you can even hang hang a hairdryer or something above you as long as it's safe or above the actual desk sorry um, with a coat hanger or, or something similar. Uh, the reason being is that you can put it on, you know, from about 40 meters, sorry, 40 centimeters uh, from the table, and then you can have it turned on while you while you release the actual screen. So that is, I mean, you can heat it up slowly uh, and hold it by hand, but this is the best way, and it's a really important, you know, thing to do. So what I'm going to do is also I'm going to show you during the actual fix. The temperatures uh, through this uh, temperature gauge and it'll show you like the temperatures uh, you know on, on how hot the actual front glass should get uh, because you don't want to heat it too much and you don't want to heat it you know too less so we'll get started now enough talking first thing is we need to heat up the glass so that takes a few minutes so you just leave it under here under the fan sorry the heat gun I keep calling it a fan and let it heat up a bit. I mean, you know, it shouldn't take too long. I've got it on high setting. Put it on the low setting. Um, I've done this a lot, so you know, I'm, I'm fairly confident. Okay, so slowly we see the heat's going up. It's slowly going up. And adjust the fan again. Just let it heat up. Now what we want it to do is get to about, at the moment it's about 50 degrees. We want it to get to about 60, 55 to 60 degrees Celsius or about 130, 140 degrees Fahrenheit around there. So it's starting to get a bit hot now. I'm going to put the fan down. And I can really feel it. It's actually heating up. Uh, the first thing is actually, what I should do is, and this is a big boo-boo I've done, is you need to take, turn the phone off and take the battery out. I forgot to do that, so I'm sorry about that, guys. So you take the phone out, take the battery out. That should be a given anyway. And um, then we can really get started. So, what we need to do first is start from the top where the Samsung logo, the bottom is where the home button is. We need to start from the top and we'll lift it, okay? Now, we don't want to lift, we kind of want to slide it under. I'm going to try and get, get where the camera is now. Between the frame and the glass here. As you can see, I'm slowly doing that at the top here. Now, yep. 
It's going to be a bit hard initially, but what we're going to do is we're going to eventually wedge this iSesimo tool like so. I'm going to try and make it go, you know, cover the whole area here. And then we're going to pull it down. So, be a bit patient. I mean, you know, I'm going fairly fast with this. You guys don't need to. I've done this a lot. So, be patient. That's that's the key. Once you feel like you can remove your exacto knife, you can slowly... And there we go. There's a little crack here. And obviously that crack stuck to the glue. And we need to somehow get the ice SMO under that. Instead of trying to wedge it down, just get the exacto, lift it up a bit. If it comes off, it comes off. If not, just push the exact uh, the ice SMO under there. You'll see why this ice SMO tool is really the best tool to use. I've seen tutorials on the net that show pieces of wire. They show guitar picks. They show all this different types of crap. Don't follow what you, what they're saying. This is definitely the best you know option. I'm not going to guarantee you're not going to break the LCD underneath, but there is, you know, one one surety is that this is the best option. So, as you can see, the ice SMO is oh, I need to. We just we keep prying now. The the, the ear speaker part. Um, we want to get the ice SMO over that, so you just try to lift it a bit more. You don't want to lift too much. Remember, we're never going to pry like that. We're only ever trying to slide slide things parallel down. Look at that. That that's pretty much you know parallel there. We need to get this ice SMO over. This is really the only hurdle of it, actually. So if we can do this pretty smoothly, it's going to be a fairly easy fix. So, we slowly, and I'm going to show you something right here. You'll see that there's these little, oh, what if this light got out of the way? Sorry guys, I don't really have the most professional lighting system. Um, right there, I use a glove by the way, you don't have to because you're not heating it that hot. That, that part there, that's glue coming off between the actual front glass and the actual LCD. Now, it shouldn't, you shouldn't be trying to force that to come up. It'll naturally show these squiggles as time goes on. So, so I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first turn this off because we don't want it too hot. It's actually getting pretty hot now. And... I'm going, to tr I'm going to try very, very slowly, very, very patiently to get. And it looks so complex, but it actually isn't. Um, a lot of people won't have problems doing this. Try and go around the outside so we go, get a bit more flex, should I say. And there we go, it's fallen out, but you know, it'll be easy to get back in again. And I'm trying to get the iSesimo above that ear speaker part, because once we do... It's going to be smooth sailing. We're going to just go all the way down and we're just going to wait. I'm actually trying to hurry a bit for, for the sake of the video here, guys, but just don't hurry. Be patient. There we go, and it's over. See how you can see it's over that, that metal part? And we're good to keep going. Oh, there we go. Just fell under. Doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. You guys can fast forward this through this if it's a bit, you know, annoying to watch. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to understand the point of what I'm trying to show here. You know, so I need to put the heater back on.
Then we slowly wait till it heats up. It really can't drop. The temperature can't drop. As you can see now, it's dropped to 49. We want to always keep it above the 50. See 48, 47 down there. We want to keep it above 50 degrees Celsius around the 1, 130 uh, Fahrenheit mark. You guys, I'm sure, can do the conversion online if you really need to know Fahrenheit. And look, as you can see, that 50 degree mark, you can still put your hand on there. You don't want to probably leave it there too long, but it's not going to burn you. The top part is is the most tedious, so be patient. I mean, you can even work your way around like what I'm doing now on the corners. It's actually working easier for me to go around the corners. The last one I did, I just went straight from the top down and seemed to have, you know, went pretty well, so... See, you can see it slowly. Lifting. Remember, don't try to pry up. You should never be pulling up. If you pull up, you're gonna break the LCD. If you stay parallel, if you be patient, it's gonna actually lift up itself. So. You don't want to put too much pressure. You're avoiding that pressure. And by all means, anyone in Australia that's not confident to do this, they can always send it to me and I'll do it for a fairly cheap price. But, but I mean, you know, this is, this looks tricky. It isn't tricky at all. Um, it really is fairly easy if you're patient. You just got to keep it, once again, at a, at a parallel angle to the glass. You'll see there's hardly no flex there. Because this iSesimo tool is really thin. So, I'm going to check the temperature for you guys. It's a bit lower now, so I'm going to wait till it increases a bit. You guys can fast forward if this is boring. I mean, you know, you, you can just go through, you know, sections. Fast forward to say when I'm in the middle and at the bottom. Make sure that if you are going to fast forward, just fast forward to the end because I'm going to show you how to actually open it without breaking the cable. If you do break the cable, that's not a big issue. It's an easy fix. It's um, a few dollars as well.
as you can see the glue is slowly moving down let it take its own course don't go forcing anything checking the temperature 55 that's optimal that's optimal right there is optimal 60 degrees optimal I've noticed that 60 degrees Celsius it's probably the perfect temperature 60 degrees you can still put your hand on there if you don't have a temperature gauge just remember if you can't put your hand on it it's too hot And let it get too hot. I'm going to turn off the temperature now. It's starting to cool down fairly quickly. There you go, like in a matter of almost five minutes, we're almost one third of the way down. I'll safe to say more than one third actually. So it's not going to take long. The reason I wear a heat glove, this glove, is that the actual uh, heat gun above me can get a bit annoying on the back of my hand. Um, so, like touching it, once again, doesn't do anything. Go left to right. I'm going to turn the heat down a bit. Front glass costs about ten dollars. Ice SMO course costs about another ten dollars. This is really a twenty dollar fix. I mean, you guys can buy the extra stuff like a like a heat gun and and I mean, you know, a temperature gauge, but really, it's not necessary. As you can see, sometimes it gets caught here and you might be saying, oh, why isn't it getting pushed down? You just need to lift it a bit. And there we go, and it starts to move down. Sometimes the ice SMO digs into the actual frame. I don't know why, but it's not really sharp, but it just does. This is way better than a piece of wire. The real big problem with wire is it breaks. And when, you, when you're halfway down and it breaks, that's a big nightmare. Um, sometimes a wire can get caught in the middle. Don't use a wire. 
don't use guitar picks, don't use those plastic blue separating tools that you see on other videos. Other videos will also show you that there's no glue in the middle. You know, for, for actual phones that have been repaired before, there isn't. But on a, on a Samsung that hasn't been broken, there's glue in the middle. So they're going to make it look real easy showing you these other videos when, yeah, it's actually a bit deceiving that it's not going to be the same type of repair you're doing. Which is the main reason I did this video. There's no decent Samsung S3 front glass replacement videos on YouTube. Don't lift, just slowly slide it down like that. And as you can see, the more we go down, the easier it is. And you just keep going down, slowly, but surely, and eventually, it'll force itself down. Just jimmy to the right, to the left, make sure you're not forcing it. Monitor the heat. I'm going to get that temperature gauge to show you guys. It's about 49 degrees. Still staying fairly consistent between 50 and 60. 121 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. The more you go down, the easier it's going to be. But still keep that heat up. But don't get too impatient. If you get you know, more impatient, what's going to happen is you're going to end up breaking it. It might seem easier when you're going down, but still. You have to do it the same as you did when you started. Now for those that have fast forwarded to the end here. Take note on what I'm doing here. Don't try to lift, just push. And there we go. Now we get to the bottom part here, just to where the bottom of the frame is. Simply, I'm going to turn it around, you guys don't have to turn it around. Simply keep pushing and then lift. Keep the isesimo there lift slowly lift because we've got right at the bottom here i'm going to point it out to you we've got right at the bottom here the cable this cable is going from underneath to the home button and to the left and right side so we're going to eventually pry this off here You can use something, probably don't use a blade from what I'm doing because you might cut it. But once again, if this, if you do cut it, it's a $2 part, it's nothing expensive. And there we go, we have the whole assembly off. It's as simple as that. Now, the final part, turn off your heat gun and we've got this off now. So all we need to do now is get this glue from, from here. You've got two options. It depends how much you've heated it. You can try doing what I'm doing with your thumb and thumb it off. Okay, now if that doesn't work, and don't listen to what the other videos are telling you, it's a load of crap. Don't use certain solutions you don't need to. I found a really fast solution. Actually, it's coming really off for me, but let's put really easy off for me. Let's pretend it isn't. Okay, what you do is just get some rubbing alcohol, methylated spirits, rubbing alcohol, whatever you want. So I just had to get up then, you quickly wipe it over, 
if you feel like it can come off with your thumb, do it that way. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, just what the rubbing alcohol will do is dry it out a little bit. Okay, so let's take for instance it hasn't come off. You get an eraser. Okay, just a simple eraser that you use for pencils and stuff. Okay, make sure everything's dry. If it's, if it's not dry, it's not going to come off. And then you just slowly rub it off, especially where the frame is. It comes off really easy. Now do that. Pause this video, keep doing that. What, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to stop the video and take all the glue off. And then I'm going to start it again. And then we're, I'm going to show you how to put the actual frame on. Alrighty, thanks guys. See you soon.